Hmm? Hmm? Is that the phone? Yes, hello. Oh, our president? Please hold on a moment. Mr. President, someone named Marui-san is asking for you. Marui? I don't know anyone by that name. Hello. Hello, are you Kiyu-san, the president? Uh. Yes. Who might you be? I'm with the Criminal Investigation Department of the Regional Taxation Bo Bureau. Daddy. A tax ex inspector? Yes. Are you familiar with us? All I know is that investigators from the Regional Taxation Bureau all do all kinds of things to go after tax chiefs who can't be caught by normal audits. Yes, we go by Marusa. I'm surprised you've heard of us. So, what does Marusa want with me? I'd love to have a chat with you, Kiryu-san. I'm thinking about dropping by in the near future. What do you mean by chat? I'll discuss things in more detail when we meet. Oh, and I have my hair in a bob. Please remember that so you can spot me when I visit. Tax investigator from Marusa. What she want with me? What's the matter, Mr. President? You okay? Hmm. Uh, yeah, no problems here. At any rate, a woman with a bob haircut is gonna come from the Regional Taxation Bureau. I guess I'll find out what she wants when I talk to her. Hmm. Hmm. What's that odd-looking woman doing? She's checking out the office? Come to think of it, there was that call. A woman with bombed hair is coming from the Regional Taxation Bureau. So that woman must be from their investigation department. Marusa. The taxation experts that investigate companies for tax evasion. She's one of them. Or it... I don't know, Kiryu. Given your track record with uh, getting things right, it might not be. Oi. Hey, are you maybe... What is it? Are you, uh, Marusa? Marusa? What do you mean by Marusa? Well, you have a bob haircut. You must be the woman who called me, aren't you? What are you saying? I'm not Marusa. My name's kind of close, but I'm hungry. Uh, I'm the one from Marusa, Kiryu-san. You are? Yes. Sorry for not introducing myself sooner. I'm Agent Marui of the Regional Taxation Bureau's Criminal Investigation Department, a.k.a. Marusa. So you're the one who called me. You wanted to talk about me about something? Yes. I was hoping to ask you something, Kiryu-san. What's that? Kiryu-san, I need your assistance in a delicate matter. What kind of assistance? You mean Marusa needs help? Precisely. Kiryu-san, have you had any dealings with your neighbor, Maguro Enterprises, in the office next door? No, I didn't know the name of the business until now. Good, that's ideal. We're investigating Magro Enterprises for tax evasion. Really? Tax evasion? Shh! Keep it down! We were tipped off on Magro's infraction by an informant who has dealings with them. Our source promised to deliver evidence to back it up, and we lost all contact. Mm. Your source might have been silenced forever. <sighs> I'm afraid so. I need to get the good on Magro Enterprises. But if I did it myself, Magro might notice a stranger sniffing around and become suspicious. But if you are seen with me, his next door neighbor, your presence can be explained. That's why you want my help with this. Nice. I couldn't have put it better. You catch on fast. I get the picture. I don't really have much of a stake in this. Mm. Nope. You're not obliged in any way. But if you were to offer assistance, you won't regret it. In more ways than one, I would think. What's that supposed to mean? You're taking on the five billionaires, right? That's on top of figuring out how to run a business. Not too easy for you, is it? How do you know that? <laughs> I am with Marusa, remember? That's nothing compared to the kind of information we work with. Here's the deal. Help me and I'll help you with your business. Not a bad deal, is it? You're serious? Yep. I know the industry inside out. My support's invaluable, wouldn't you say? Mm. True. So, decision time. Will you help me investigate Magro Enterprises quietly? Uh. Fine. Tax evasion is a serious crime. I'll do my part for the good of society. <laughs> good! We have a deal! Hey, Marusa lady. Yes, Kiryu-san? By the way, I told you, my name is Marui. 
Marui-san, you're, uh, kind of close. <laughs> it's a brilliant cover, though. And pretending to be a couple, we can loiter about that arousing suspicion. Uh, alright. Ah! Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What's the matter, Marui-san? Shh! Quiet! It's Maguro! The head honcho from Maguro Enterprises is coming. Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Hey, he's staring at us. It's okay, we're just a couple on a date. Mm. Yes, but... <sighs> just go with it. Kiryu-kun, I love you. Huh? Uh, hey, what is all of a sudden? I don't love her. Play along, will you? You have to convince him you're a couple in love. Come on, Kisan, we need to perform. Going for a kiss, probably not the best idea. Gaze at her ardently. Marui-san, I... I can't resist. I love you. Kiryu-kun, me too! I love you. Yes, me too! I love you so much, I can't resist. I... I can't resist either. My love for you greater than the stars in the heavens! What the... Whoa! <laughs> uh... I'm so sorry. You... You awoke the woman in me. Why does this always seem to happen to me? Because you go around seducing people, Kiryu. Wait, what about Maguro? Um... Get a room, you two. Yes, it worked! Good job, Kiryu-san! Mm -hmm. Huh? Wait a second, you're... Uh-oh, does he suspect something? Yeah, you're from the office next door, aren't you? i seen you going in and out. Uh. Uh, yeah, I'm Kiryu. I was recently put in charge here. Sorry for not introducing myself sooner. Oh. I'm Maguro. I'm in real estate, and no, I should have introduced myself sooner, too. Anyway, Kiryu-san, I'm impressed you're the man in charge at such a young age. You must bring a lot to the table. Yeah. No, it was really just circumstantial. <laughs> ah, and modest, too. Listen, may I invite you to my office for some tea? I'd like to get to know my neighbor. Nani. Huh? Oh, wait, I shouldn't be interrupting your fun. Sorry, that was inconsiderate of me. Interrupting our fun- Oh! At present, Maguro, please pay me no heed. I'm present Kiryu's secretary, after all. What? What? Kiryu-san, you're dating your own secretary? That must be nice. <laughs> now, I really have to get to know you better, Kiryu-san. Please, do come for a visit. Hmm, mm, I don't know. Kiryu-san, this is the perfect opportunity. Nani? We can enter into Maguro Enterprises. I knew you were the right man for the job, Kiryu-san. Oh, right. That's true. What if your cover's blown? Danger comes with the territory. I'll do whatever it takes to expose Maguro's shady dealings. Huh. Got it. I'm this with you to the end. Is something wrong? Yeah. Uh, no, no. We were just saying we should take you up on your kind offer and visit your office. I see, I see. Then, please, this way. There's no one here. Saf and even my secretary are out. Uh, no matter. I can prepare the tea myself. Have a seat and make yourself comfortable. <laughs> I like it hot and steamy. Okay, hot and steamy it shall be. This is our chance to search the office. Oi. Are you sure about this, Marui-san? There's no telling when Maguro will come back. Kiryu-san, tell me, what's he doing now? I'm making our tea. A standard teapot's capacity between 400 to 600 milliliters. To prepare a tea for three, and some refills, he would need two pots, so he needs to boil a liter of water. To boil a liter of water in a kettle takes about four minutes on high heat. That man likely gets his secretary to make tea, so he'll need time to find the tea leaves. All in all, we have about seven minutes to conduct a search before he returns with our tea. Follow? Maro says something else. This isn't so much moral size, it is just common sense. Also, rather than working those gums, how about getting busy? I doubt financial statements will mean anything to you, Kiryu-san. Look for anything suspicious instead. Uh. Got it.
some machines here. Better not mess with the desk. Dharma and some salients. Hmm? This video rack. Is there something odd about it? Nothing's wrong. Lockers are locked, of course. Hotels are broken, probably from just wear. Sofa looks comfortable, but there's nothing suspicious about it. While Docker and some books, they don't appear to be suspicious. Video rack. Is there something odd about it? Something is wrong. What's odd about it? Its location. The video collection. Its presence. Oi. Marley son, don't you think this video collection is strange? The videos he has here. What about them? Hmm, as far as I can tell, videos all seem to be standard stuff. Beyond that, I don't have an opinion to offer. What about them struck you as odd? No, I guess I got carried away. Okay, but it, that kind of instinct can be valuable. If something bugs you, check it thoroughly. Thought about it. The fact that there's videos there, but there's no TV. Uh -huh. Odd. I don't see anything odd about it. There's nothing wrong with the video rack itself, but it's strange that it's in here in this room at all. It being here is odd. Oh, oh you're right. There's all these videos, but neither a TV nor a VCR to play them on. Uh. Right. It's too bulky to be just placed here on a temporary basis. Besides, there's dust here that shows it hasn't been moved recently. There's something clearly unnatural about this video rack. <laughs> Kiryu san, that's on the money. You must be hiding something in these videotapes. Do you think he would hide evidence in plain sight in his office? Magaro's bold, I'll give him that. So, if you were to examine these videotapes. Kiryu san, sorry, but can you open the door for me? I'm holding a tray. Sure, I'll get it. He was quicker than expected. What'll we do? You know where to look now, so maybe we should come back another time. No, I can't risk him having. Mo I can't risk having a moody evidence. We're settling this now. Yeah, but Magro's back. We can't keep searching. True. I don't have any choice. It's time for the last resort. The last resort. <laughs> Sorry to keep you folks waiting. I usually get my secretary to serve tea, so I had to track down the tea leaves. Uh. Thank you very much. Speaking of, why isn't your secretary taking a seat? Oh, I'm sorry for any awkwardness. I threw out my back and sitting is simply agonizing. <laughs> Ouch! Oh, that's rough. I know how bad it is to throw out your back. Yes, I. so I would much prefer to stand. Please don't mind me. Remember what I just told you, Kiri-san. Keep Maguro focused on you while I examine all the video cassettes. There's no way this is going to work. Be sure to notice. You can do it, kitty son You're a man with the balls to do this, and Marasa gets men by their balls! That made no sense! What's wrong? Can't you... can't take your eyes off each other? Oh, no, oh, no, 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 it, it's nothing, it's nothing. <laughs> ah, it must be nice to be in love like that. Anyway, kitty son if you don't mind me asking, how did you get to be in charge of your own office at such a young age? Well, it's a little complicated. I was approached by this man, Mari son's got nerves of steel. If Magro were to cast behind him, we'd be toast. Oh, I see. It's amazing how a single chance meeting can change your life completely, isn't it? You seem a little distracted, Kiryu san. Is something bothering you? Huh? You, you think so? It's just. Something seems to be distracting you a lot. What's bothering you? Your clothes just look really great, mm -hmm. Makro san. What? My clothes, you say? <laughs> so, you can tell, can you? I bought these on an impulse just the other day. Cost a fair amount, too. Around 800,000 yen or so. It's a great brand, and the designer brand is a big name worldwide. You have to hand it out to their sense of style. I mean, you can tell it's a quality piece by... Okay, I managed to get through that. It's not just clothes for me either, I have a collection of watches too! They're at home, of course, with the German-made timepieces. <laughs> Magro likes the sound of his own voice. 
occupied to keep Maguro talking and buy time so Mari san can finish going through the video tapes. Video tapes. Kitty san, I have to tell you, I'm impressed how well your business is doing. Oh, I don't think we're doing anything too differently. <laughs> how modest of you! I wish your success would rub off on us next door. Well, being the way it is, the one with the money wins. Doesn't matter how they got it either. Doesn't matter at all. Oh, excuse me, I got lost in my own thoughts there. Tell me, Kiryu san, you're obviously well off, but is there anything you can s you still want? Something I want. Let's see. BCR, women, a house maybe? Ah, you're already in real estate. House would not be the biggest problem. Women. But women?! You're in love with your secretary, but you're opening <laughs> you want other women! That's bold! Well, you better be careful. Women can be fiercely jealous creatures. You're right, I should be more discreet. Kitty, we're supposed to be a couple. Don't draw attention to me with your talk. So, sorry, you're not careless. For heaven's sake, be careful! <laughs> oh, I got it. Well, I must say, I'm glad I finally got to meet you, uh, Kitty san I enjoy chatting with you too. Uh, yeah, same here. I was trying to wrap things up. Maru san done? She wants more time? Oh boy, easy for her to say. Well, cutie san, I enjoyed your visit, but I should be getting back to work now. Maguro san, yes? How do I buy more time? Actually, palmistry is a hobby of mine. Maybe you're reading, Maguro san? You want to do a palm reading? On uh. me? Yes. Magros, I'm a person of your stature, sure to have very distinctive and unique palm features. Hmm, can it wait until next time? I actually have a meeting coming up. No, it has to be now. Oh, alright. Your palm. It has the markings of great luck involving money. Oh, really? That's great. I hope my business will really take off. Hmm, this line. Now, is this intriguing? Oh, cutie son, what do you mean? Can you explain? some more time. Well, Kiryu-san, thanks for visiting. Feel free to drop by any time for some tea. Uh, yeah. There! Gotcha! This is it! What? President Makuro, I found this bank book in a videotape. Interestingly, these numbers don't need to match your revenue figures in your tax filings. What? That's you! Are you from Marusa? I was merely invited along as Kiryu-san's friend, but yes, coincidentally, I happen to work with the Criminal Investigation Department of the Regional Taxation Bureau. I'm rather dismayed that I stumbled upon evidence of your tax evasion in my private time. Huh? <laughs> Damn you! I'll kill you! You want to consider the consequences first? If you kill me, you're guaranteed a life sentence. Stay on your best behavior, and you might be lucky enough to get parole in 30 years. How old will you be then? If you're willing to stay caged that long, go ahead, kill me. Ugh. Usually, the one who says they're going to be doing the killing is the one that's threatening you, but not with uh, tax tax agents, I guess. Hey, son, thanks to you, we got Evans and Margaro's tax evasion. You did. Great job keeping Margot's attention away from me. You did better than I could have hoped. Mm. Eh, doing my part for the country. Like I promised, I'll help you with your business. Of course, I will expect to be com compensated Dang. fairly. What? It's not free? <laughs> of course not. Besides, it's peanuts to you. In this day and age, money's floating like mm. flowing like water. Mm, I feel like I got the short end of this stick. Agent Marley from Maros has joined your team as an advisor. Ooh. And Kitty san Make sure your office keeps filing your taxes properly. Got it? Uh, no argument from me. I just got first hand demonstration of how scary Marosa can be. <laughs> you know it, crying doesn't pay. This is for you, as thanks for your help. I want you to have it. You got Trouble Finder. Watch your back. Marosa lurks everywhere, sniffing around wherever dirty money leaves its stench. You never know, Marosa could be watching you. Out of sight, but never far away. 